So as some of you guys may know, I released instructions on Rebreakable for my Technique Driving Range Shooting Mechanism from my uh, LEGO M1A2 Abrams. As you can see here, there's a <clears throat> PDF instructions or there's a LDRAW uh, 3D model of it that are available. And as you can see below here are the parts required. There are 207 parts. And the PDF is built similar to LEGO instructions where it shows the, the required parts per step. And I also have <clears throat> marked some steps where certain parts may be confusing. So in today's video, I'm going to talk about the <clears throat> plan models for this next upcoming year. And first model to start off with is Elvis. This is from Mad Max Fury Road. And like my <clears throat> ripsaw or the peacemaker, but this would have been a cool model to build, so hopefully I can build that sometime this summer. The M8 Greyhound is another interesting vehicle I want to plan to branch off and try some different vehicles. And this one is a 6x6 with a turret, so hopefully we'll have a full suspension and all-wheel drive. And finally, the ATTE. I've been wanting to build this model for a long time. As you can see, there's some photos of what it looked like a couple years ago, and here's some video of it uh, operating. I never really got to finish the model as there were, it suffered from some problems and I later built my M8 GMC following that. So I'd like to work on articulating all of the joints on the legs for a more realistic motion and also have the model pivot around the central leg so it can steer. Next is a Kuba Blitz. This is an interesting vehicle uh, as I want to build a, something on the Panzer IV chassis. I think this would be a little bit different than building a standard Panzer IV, but have some cool features and functions. Next is the SDKFZ251. This is a different sort of model, as well as like the M8 Greyhound, as I wanted to build something with wheels. Uh, last half track I built was the SDKFZ uh, FAMO. Next we have the Churchill AVRE. Uh, as you can see here, my original Churchill is really flawed in terms of the scale, and I also tried to build a bridge layer model of this. So what I'd like to do is rebuild this Churchill model, as it was one of my most popular videos so far, and see if I can do a better rendition of it at a larger scale. Next is the Panther. As you can see, I've gotten some sprockets that Efferman designed for me so I can have that 3D printed and I can use those so I'll have sprockets that are larger than, than five studs in diameter for better scaling of the model. And finally is the IS-7. This model may not get finished in, by the end of this year, but maybe the next year uh, as the turret's rather interesting shape and I have some plans for creating that rounded structure with flexible axles, but besides that, this is pretty much my lineup for this year and I'm surprised in our six months I got another thousand subscribers, so thanks everyone for supporting the channel. And